Many of these election flyers are the same used in 2017. But with such a strong Tory majority, they won't be back out any time soon. Despite being re-elected himself, Neil Coyle says this was a humiliating defeat for Labour. And he's incensed the leader hasn't already stepped down. Jeremy Corbyn and his team have ignored all of the evidence, all of the response from voters for far too long. The idea that they could sit and oversee any independent analysis of this result is, 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 is sickening because they haven't listened to voters. They are sat there whilst voters have said, not you, not now, not ever. He says the party knew for months that Corbyn was unelectable. They genuinely understood that Corbyn was a damaging factor for our prospects. That's why the, the policing, the housing, the NHS leaflets that all came from the National Party didn't have him on, didn't feature him because they knew he was a negative factor for voters. Jeremy Corbyn says he won't stand down until a new leader is chosen. Today, John McDonnell confirmed he will also leave the Labour front line. The new leader will come in place appoint the shadow cabinet. I won't be part of that shadow cabinet. That's, you know, I've done my bit. We need to move on at that stage with that new leader. And I think we'll be in, I think we'll be in a position where, yeah, learning lessons, listening to people. But there are many in the party who think that can only happen when the shutters come down on Jeremy Corbyn's leadership. Sam Holder, ITV News.